And the Nigerian government says it is implementing cost-cutting measures to save at least 10 billion naira as Nigeria prepares to participate in the 2024 United Nations Climate Change Conference, COP29, in November. It was as President Bola Tinumbu authorized the establishment of the Climate Accountability and Transparency Portal and other measures to ensure efficiency and accountability in the nation's participation in the annual global event to be held in Baku, Azerbaijan, from November 11 to 22, 2024. Special Presidential Envoy on Climate Action, Algeria Galali, announced a new directives when he built State House correspondent on Tuesday at the Asurog Villa, Abuja. Galali said the measures include the scrapping of payment for a showcase pavilion that cost Nigeria about $500,000 at the 2023 Climate Change Summit COP28 in Dubai. Instead, the delegation's office would house all necessary engagement for the 11-day summit. Members of delegation across ministries, departments and agencies, and including even the legislative branch of government, uh, will be captured on a transparent portal. Uh, this will mean that Nigerians will have full and real-time access into the numbers of who is attending and those who government is sponsoring to COP29. This will also ensure that anyone who is attending this conference has an economic imperative uh, to be at that conference, engaging with companies, uh, multilateral partners and stakeholders who will attract finance and opportunity into the country for the benefit of our people. Anyone who is not engaging in activities that are directly linked to the attraction of business opportunity, of finance uh, into the country, uh, will not be part of the federal government's delegation this time around. Uh, in addition to the portal, uh, we found through our audit that during COP28 in Dubai, there were significant expenditures uh, made for the provision of platforms that proved to be, in our view, wasteful. Uh, so ahead of COP29, we have resolved and concluded that there will be no showcase pavilion as part of the federal government of Nigeria's cost reduction efforts. We recognize that what can be achieved in a showcase pavilion can be achieved in a far more economically efficient uh, mode uh, by effectively utilizing the delegation office that is on site within the conference complex. And this we will do. Uh, we have found that by taking that option, the nearly $500,000 showcase pavilion that was purchased uh, for last year's COP28 uh, will no longer be an item of expenditure in COP29. Uh, 